guys, we uh, have um, Cyrus Wesley here for AMK International. He's uh, another new member to the group. Um, Cyrus, uh, welcome. Um, Thank you. What we're going to do is ask a couple questions, and we'll, without you know wasting any time, we're going to jump right into it. First question I have for you, Cyrus, is uh, briefly describe your path to now training with AMK International. Uh, well, it has been good. I mean, uh, got with the group in August and been been training for 16 weeks now with the group. Uh, progression is great. Everything's going great. Uh, I love it. The great training, the workouts. It's uh, it's it's built to my strength. So that's uh, that's what I that's what I was out uh, when I first uh when I first got with the group. Uh, sat down with the coaches and some with some of the athletes and we talked about we went over a whole lot of stuff and we are working on my strength and also working on most of my weaknesses. So. I love it. I like it. So, okay. Um, you're now training under a new system, right? And obviously, a new coach myself. Uh, let's talk a bit. Talk a little bit about the progress thus far. I mean, obviously, you you you've opened up, but let's talk about your progress. Uh, progress. I've opened up, like you said. I I I, I ran a meet in December of last year. It was pretty good. I mean, most. Most of the time, I probably have ran about three to four meets already, but not quality training. And this, I'm doing a whole lot of quality training and with including weights, which was not a key in my training before, even in college. It was, we did weights in college, but it wasn't one of the main focus. It was running, 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 with no type of weight training. The year is we run, we run, we run, and we do weight training which helps me develop my strength, my speed on and off the track. So it's a progress, progress is pretty good. Okay. Um, you started your campaign as we've touched upon. You right. started the 2011, 2012 indoor season. Right. Can you speak briefly about the season opener? How'd you feel about it? With, you know, take us through, through that meet. Uh, the meet was at Bucknell. I, I felt good. Uh, usually, uh, doing uh I don't do a whole lot of before I didn't do a whole lot of pre meet stuff but I had to drive down there and when I as soon as I got there did my pre meet stuff did my hydrotherapy ice bath and uh wasn't nervous uh and I actually ate for the first time for before a track meet usually mm. I don't eat before a track meet I don't know whether it's a nervous type of energy or I don't know but I think it was because of the amount of training we do you had to refill your body, so I it's not I, it's not like I was drained, but I felt as though I wanted to eat something and I had something to eat. But at the same time, it, the meat the meat went by pretty good. Uh, opened up in the sixty and I ran seven oh two seven oh one, and came back in the finals and had a big drop of a set six ninety two. My fastest opener I've ever ran uh, my my entire career. So. The progress was good. Uh, jump in the 300 and ran a PR in that also. So the progress was good. Uh, strength is there, speed is there, and uh, and we're working on a whole lot of technique. Uh, my technique, my form. Thought it was good, but we had to break it down a little bit. And uh, it's uh, it's getting there. It's more to come. It's getting there.
I mean, uh, we're gonna shift focus just a little bit. We'll come back to track. Right. Um, let's just talk about maybe a little bit of your hobbies. What's, what are some of the hobbies when you spare time? What do you do? Uh, spare time. Uh, go go out with my friends and family, but most of the time I'm spending with my my little nephews and nieces. So a, a whole lot of time, a whole lot of quality time with my family because at the end of the day, they the one who support me and. Because uh, because we all run track and we all track athletes, we don't get to see our family no, a whole lot because we are away Monday through Friday and then Saturdays we have meets, so we have to be away. So we barely get to see them. So um, I try to spend as much time as possible with my family and friends. So. Um, speaking of family, and obviously uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Cyrus will be representing Liberia for the um, 2012 Olymp Olympic Games. That's his goal. Um, what has been the biggest challenge training professionally, um, being as though you're going to try to represent, obviously, Liberia in the, uh, for, the, for the games? And what has been your biggest challenge? Um, it's a whole lot of challenges. It comes. It, some challenges comes to uh, working full time uh, as a full time, and uh, and also competing full time and with no support from the federation and um, yeah, from the federation, from the Liberian Federation. I mean, our federation is really small, so. You have to make a name for yourself in order for them to recognize you. So that's 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 a uh, that's that's key. That's huge. That's one of the challenges we face. But uh, all in all, I mean, it's a it's a whole lot of challenges everybody face. But I don't want to make me as though my 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 challenge is bigger. But it's a uh, I work full time. I go to school full time. Going for my masters and uh, and also I coach full time. So that's a. Uh, it takes away. It takes away from my coach. It takes away from my performance. Well, in the past, it took away from my uh, from my training. But now we've we've made a schedule here at AMK that we can focus on my training, and I can focus when I'm not training. Then I can focus on other stuff. All right. And the last question: What are some of your goals heading into the 2012 season? Um, as far as my goals, well. Little by little, but at the end of the day, at the end of the season, I want to make it to the Olympics. It's not not just making it to the Olympics, but I want to make it to the Olympic final. And I also want to uh, break the Liberian record in the 200, both indoors and outdoors. I mean, it's going to be a it's going to be a huge uh, huge process, and it's going to be a, it's going to take a lot of hard work, which we are putting on at AMK. But I think it's doable, and. Uh, that's uh that's that's my two main three main goals: break the break the Liberian indoor record and two hundred outdoor record, and make it to the Olympics. All right. Anything else you want to add? Uh, just want to say to everyone who's watching this, thank you guys for the support and uh, more to come.